Ladies and gentlemen, show jumping fans, welcome to the evening that you are likely to remember for the rest of your lives. Tonight here in Monaco, the Grand Prix offers the highest prize money in 17-year history of the launching Global Champions Tour. A mind-boggling purse of 1.5 million euro is offered. Seven of the top ten are present in Monte Carlo. However, only five have qualified for the Grand Prix, with Marley Bayard Jonsen and Umer Karaevli not making the cut. But as said, with the top of the standings present here, like Van der Vleuten, Koekoek, Tops Alexander, De Vos, those already out of the top eight, it is going to be an intense battle. And this is the stage, Uyano Fezzani, who has really pulled out all the stops for this track here for 1.5 million euro in prize money. Not much uh, square meters to uh, work with. I think it's about uh, 7,000 euro per square meters if you think about it in uh, that way. These are the riders coming forward. It starts with Switzerland's Jane Richard, then the youngest ever LGCT Grand Prix winner Bertram Allen, then Lazarus, Klapphack, the debut of the Stockdale this season, here at Vingralkova, and the Paris winner Alman. 17 years of LGCT, 17 years of bringing you the best in show jumping. Oliver Lazarus with his French man. Six and a half inside the time allowed with that inside turn. Another back rail touch. Gets the six easy. Tries to stay deep into the corner and reduce the base and then get a good angle. He can't come in too slow either. There's uh, Oliver Lazarus with the French mare over the back rail on the inside line. Sets her up 4-4. Four, four. And indeed, it's again a Grand Prix on four penalties, just like Mexico. He's knocking on the door, but nobody's opening, nobody's home. Lazarus, four penalties in 69.5. From Zarkava to Asmara, now to Le Coultre. With Philippe Rosier, the Rio Team Olympic champion. With this uh, famous grey stallion, Rao Teb de Toscan was owned by Christian Bayer, but also by the Écurie des Cousines of Christophe Ameu. There's the big oxen. Another big lift of Rosier. Is he going to do it? There's the Frenchman. There's the time. What's it going to be? The first clear. 71.91 seconds. Michael van der Vleuten. And Valkenswaard, London, Rome. And Riyadh as the final stage. Best eight results count. Five. Squeezes with the hind leg. And seven to get home. And that's not a bad result, that is not a bad result. Four penalties in 70.28, it puts him in third at the moment, Michael van der Vleuten. Jean Sadran is next, the youngster, one of the youngest in the field. Marcel de Lestre on Kiss and Cry, the father of Simon. As trainer this weekend for Sadran. Nice five, comes in a little bit long, mind the plank now, still out. She is a touch slow maybe, but not much. If she can get the seven home, this is all possible. She was clear already in Saint-Tropez, and she could just do it again in the biggest Grand Prix in her career. Jean Sadran, final fan, stays up, and she's in the time! It is an insane performance! It is absolutely unbelievable of this 21-year-old Jean Sadran. And here is Harry Smolders. Smolders, 20 podium finishes. Look at how he reacts. Leans forward. Regardless of his result. He's on the inside. Is it deep? No. There was a rub on the front rail. There was a light rub on the front rail, but Smolders is clear so far. 
Two fences left to jump, sets him up, then gets the pace and the stretch over the back rail. And here comes Smolders to join the French in the battle for the record-breaking prize money. Indeed, now the mega hostess come into play. Can he score the treble? Max Kuhner came here with two Grand Prix horses. Coriolis and Electric Blue. Oh no, it is not the treble. Here's the challenge for Kuhner, who plays a great tactical game. Kukuk with Mumbai. But whatever is needed to get the job done. The means to an end. No, there goes the front trail. And now it is between Van der Vleuten and Kukuk. Kukuk can still close in on Van der Vleuten, but then he needs a four. No, and it's an eight. Van der Vleuten will extend his uh, lead on both Marlin Barriar Jonsson and on uh, Christian Kukuk. Now Joli Mitlineu. The Greek rider with another mega horse. She is on Levi's de Muse by Elvis de Putte. This is light work. Did, do you see how he's flying, the stallion? She sets him up, gives him a bit of room, soars over the back rail. Time is good. There comes Joli Mitilineo with Levi's de Muse. Climbing Mount Olympus, 70.78, and in the jump off. With five left, here comes the king, King Edward with Hendrik von Eckermann. It's very quiet now here in the arena, as everybody knows that this is the best pair in the world. And it's gone coming out of the combination and so he misses the inside turn and he's home on eight yesterday he qualified for this Grand Prix by if I am allowed to say humiliating the field he is on the home bread Donatello Doge. It is, of course, a Saint-Tropez winner. It is Julien Epaillard. It will feel as if you're riding for second place. Epaillard. Quietly into the double. Quietly to the plank. Goes outside, goes around. Is he good for the time? Yes, he is. Huge stretch now. Leaves it standing. Oh, this man is going to make it exciting. He is last to go, like Giovinazzi in pole position. Three French in the jump off. And so we can get ready for the jump off here in Monte Carlo. As this is how it stands. It is the five clears and then Kuhner, Lazarus and Whitaker on very fast fours. The tension is truly palpable here in uh, the Port d'Hercule. Philippe Rosier, Jean Satran, Harry Smolders, Joli Mitlineu and Julien Epaillard will take on this jump-off course. And this is the list. We can all fit them on one page. That is Philippe Rosier with Le Coultre de Muse. Indeed, it is nine. Here comes the rollback. How wide does he go? He's riding with his head and not with his heart. He's not overdoing it. One more fence to jump. That's the finish. Four double clear, and that will give him enormous prize money. Double clear. Jean Sardin. Riding for the double clear in the biggest Grand Prix in her career. Jean Sadran with unforgettable Danville behind on the schedule. She is for second place now. 
and it's a double clear. No, it goes. Oh, that is a pity. With a very fit Monaco. Look at the pace that he has going to the first fence already. It is it's not just about his round, this is also about putting pressure on Epayar. And that's the stride less on eight. And that is the tightest turn we've seen. This is absolutely perfect from Smolders. Sets him up for the upright. Beautifully balanced. Opens up on the long gallop to five. Nice and straight, doesn't turn too early. He threw it away on the last fence income. He's not going to throw it away on the last fence this time. He will get a nice and straight approach. The black rail as the second last fence, the perfect first distance comes round now he'll beat the time of Philippe Rosier and the flying Dutchman takes it over the last and puts a new time on the ball that is 37-8-1 37-8-1 for the young Greek based in Belgium and then being fast enough that Epayar cannot catch up Mitlineu Eight, just like Smolders. Come on, make him turn, make him turn. And this is exactly the same line as Smolders. He has got strike. He's got the perfect uh, approach out of the turn as well. She does not have the same pace down the line as Smolders. If she's behind on Smolders, she has to try to stay in front of uh, Rosier. Yoli Mitlineu climbing Mount Olympus with Levi's de Muse. There is the finish. She is slower, but it is. The first podium finish on the Launching Global Champions Tour. He does not need to humiliate Harry Smolders the way he humiliated the fields in the qualifier to win that qualifier by five seconds. He just needs to beat the 37-8-1 to win the 1.5 million Euro Grand Prix on the Launching Global Champions Tour. And he is off. Gloves are off and he's flying and moving round the turn. Aiming for his second win this season after Saint-Tropez, now back at the Côte d'Azur. Split time, says he is a second quicker. 1.27 on Julien Epayar wins, Harry Smolders is second and goes to Prague and Yoli Mitlineu is a third. As there is the complete standing. Julian, huge congratulations. Could you put into words for us how that feels? I feel amazing. I really have focused. Monaco was a big objective for me. Last week he was in Paris. He had one done in the Grand Prix and dropping good. So I'm really happy to have the result this weekend. Would you like to say anything to the crowd in French? Eh, merci à tous. C'était un plaisir de d'avoir votre ambiance et, et votre et votre coup de main ce soir. Très bonne soirée. Once more, there's the trophy out of the hands of Charlotte Casiraghi. Smolders, Mitlineu, and Apiar wanted to dive for the bottle already. And the champagne shower. That is a tradition, our launching Global Champions Tour. On top of the world, truly, Julia Epayar and Donatello Doge. Thank you for watching and see you in La Coruña. Bye-bye. Take care.